Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create a report in which we will extract the images from the database table and we will show them in our report. We will learn how to load those images to the table first and then we will create empty report and finally we are going to use those images in our report. So let's go to SSMS and take a look on the script that we are going to use to load the image. First of all, we will be creating a table in which we need to save those images and other information. So I have this table called create table debug test table and it has sale person first name last name and last we have sale person image and it is war binary type and it is max. So it can say pretty much anything what you like such as PDF, Word document, Excel or image. Now next uh, is uh, we have insert statement uh, and we are using an uh, open row set uh, and we are doing a bulk uh, insert uh, for this uh, image as a single blob so this will insert uh, our image into the table now i have uh, uh, one record for amir and the other record for raza so i have two pictures sitting in these uh, location uh, and we are gonna load them into the table now let's go ahead and run the entire script it will create the table and load those two files. Now select the query and you see the salesperson images are loaded and this is how they will look in SS SSMS. Now we are going to go ahead and create our report. So let me take this select query, open your SSDT SQL Server data tools and here I already have SSRS project. Now under the shared data sources I have sales.rds that's here data source and it is pointing to my SQL server and uh, it is uh, use an initial catalog that's a database name called the sales. It is a good practice uh, if you are creating multiple reports uh, from same database uh, create a shared data source uh, and then use for all those reports. Now click on the reports uh, and add a new item. Click on report and give name so I'm gonna call this one a uh, image from table add it is gonna create an empty report uh, click on data sources add data source uh, let's uh, name this one uh, we call this one the DS sales uh, now use shared data source as a reference uh, so we have already sales and we are gonna use that one so hit OK next uh, data set uh, add data set data set is a result set returned by your query so we call this one d set uh, sales it is going to be embedded in my report and uh, we use uh, the data source ds sales here that's our pointer to the shared data source so uh, we have select asterisk everything from that table but i recommend using the columns whatever is required or uh, are required in your report it okay now on the design surface right click and insert a table and select the fields you want to show for your report so i'm gonna get the sale person first name sale person last name and then i'm gonna get the country and region and last thing i would like to get a sale person image so we are all set let's bold them and give some background color for our header and uh, let's expand a little bit so we would have space and we can see the columns you can rename these uh, columns uh, or headers uh, you can call them first name or f name and here you can call them l name and uh, let's put a report title so put a call sale report give some background color whatever you like and make it uh, bold or italic now we are all set let's uh, preview our report and as you can see that I have selected uh, the salesperson image field in the last column but it's given us an error so there are some things we need to do if you have the column that uh, is containing uh, the images uh, and you ex uh, you select uh, or uh, place directly here in the table is going to give us an error let's delete this one and what we need to do we need to use the image item right click and insert and bring image 
Once you bring the image, it is going to ask you a few things. So it is asking a select the image source. In our case, it's not embedded. Embedded mean if it is uh, loaded in the report. We haven't uh, loaded any image in the report. So we are getting uh, the images from the database. So fine, select the field. So it's salesperson image and use this MIME type. In our case, uh, our pictures were PNG, so we can use that one. Even, even, even if you would use BMP or other GIF, uh, it's not gonna throw error, but uh, um, just uh, as our pictures were PNG, so I'm gonna use that one. And go to size. Here, let's come back uh, and uh, play with this uh, property later. So let, let's uh, have this one as it is for now preview the report and you can see that there are two small pictures are displayed here so let's fix them and give them some proper size now I'm gonna go ahead and then change the width and height of this entire detail so at least our image gets some space so now that's good and you can see that as I increase the the size of this box or cell, then the image size did increase. But still, I see on the right side they are blank or uh, they are not really fitting into this um, cell. So what we can do, we can play with the property and fit them. Go back to design, right click here, image properties, go to size and we can call this one original size. This is gonna get to the original size. So let's play with the fit to size first and then we will bring the original so now you can see that the size what we have defined it, the images did get fit in that size I, I like that part because we can uh, fit by ourselves and even the images are smaller big they will fit in that area if we will go back to the image properties and say size and say original size maybe some pictures are small some are big so in that case is you see that uh, the uh, picture for Amir is kind of bigger than the picture for Raza, so they are not aligned with each other. So for us, uh, I feel like, okay, this works best uh, fit to size. So you can play with this one, uh, fit proportional clip and all that, and uh, that uh, whatever works best for you. And also I'm gonna go to border, and uh, I'm gonna put the border around. So I use this outline all around. And you can change the color you can change the width uh, there are other properties there is uh, visibility you can hide and write expression and all those kind of things uh, and there is action you want to click on the image and go to another report or bookmark or go to url you can do that but in my case i'm going to keep this one as very simple but okay now we're all set see our report is coming pretty good now uh, I want to tell you one more thing the script I used here that's going to be available on our website so it is a www.techbrothersit.com and you can uh, uh, check the link in the description and I will take you there so I will recommend going to that website anyways there are other tutorials such as uh, SQL Server DBA tutorial SSIS tutorial team foundation tutorial and there are other uh, different tutorials we are we are we, we keep putting uh, on that website so if you like uh, go ahead and visit that and it will bring you to YouTube it has step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials uh, and they're really helpful and if you like the video please go ahead and subscribe and thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video